Hey everybody, let's take a look at Eldorado. One of those more recent Bakuzetsu quests. Um, it is a tough stage, but um, team I'm bringing along is Tsukuyomi Kai. And of course she has Minesweeper, Beast Slayer on her main, Null Warp and DD Slayer on her gauge. Uh, in the second slot we have June, and June in her ascended form has Minesweeper M. And uh, Walpurgis in the third slot has Minesweeper and Laser Stop. And uh, Gage, no damage won't, won't come into play. But most importantly, our MVP OP for the stage, we've got uh, Murasaki Shikibu. And she has Minesweeper M and Light Slayer on her gauge. So she is going to be a very useful monster here. In addition, her bump combo is the attack up. So. <laughs> She, we're going to try and utilize her as much as possible. Ooh, look at that. But uh, the new gimmick that was introduced with Eldorado was the uh, attack walls. And as you can see on the left, bottom right, those glowing walls. Uh, you want to hit off of, hit them and try and hit them before running into a wall because that will allow your monster to increase in uh, attack power. And as long as you can hit another wall before you hit a monster, the amount of attack you do will be increased and constantly increased. And as you can see, like June there, she picked up some mines. So on top of the attack wall bonus, she gets the mine bonus. And so Walpurgis does something similar. And since we were able to take out the boss, we're good for the stage. Now do do make sure you pay attention to the uh, counters on all of the pierce, no, bounce obstructors. Uh, four, five, five. Um, that is a pretty powerful um, uh, explosion attack. And uh, you, you might be able to survive on max health, but uh, it is pretty painful. And I don't know if you noticed, but I unfortunately took out the, the mechanical ball that was on the top right of the mini boss. Um, that little guy is your source of uh, healing. He will put up uh, healing walls for you, so you really don't want to kill him. But he, yeah, it's just in in the way. I mean, I'm trying to fling myself here, hitting all these walls, and that darn ball has to get in the way. Uh, uh, make sure you don't kill the ball. Um, and unfortunately, that this mini boss is going to uh, defense down your team. So uh, make sure you keep that in mind in the boss stages because he will show up there again and you're going to want to try to take him out so that you can mitigate all of the damage that could be coming your way. Uh, but there we go. We saw that uh, Tsukuyomi Kai was able to hit all three walls and just dish major damage to the mini boss. And we're already on stage four. Note the mosquito on the bottom left. And June picked up. Uh, the three damage walls and enough to take out the first uh, bubble. Uh, we have another uh, bounce of structure on the right, top right of that mini boss. Well, now on the top left. So we're going to want to try and take him out soon because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to finish off the boss quickly. Um, looking pretty good. And like I said, the mech ball on the left, he is our friend. And Tsukuyomi doing that solid damage with the walls plus mines. So now we can try and mm, dish out damage to the mini boss. That looked pretty good. And as you can see, our poor uh, mech ball is starting to lose its health. Oh, and now it's dead. So yeah, I mean it is a little tough. You do, if you want to be extra meticulous about it, you've got to see how the pathing uh, is going to work. I mean, you should be bringing pierce monsters due to the the uh, obstructors, but uh, hopefully you can s just see that line. There's no worry about uh, irregular bounces for this stage. I mean, if you're using pierce types. Alright, uh, stage 5, do pay attention that the uh, mech ball in the middle is on top of a block. So, it might be slightly difficult to hit that uh, bottom uh, power up wall. And uh, looks like I just 
twitched there at the last moment, making me hit off the block in the wrong manner. Uh, so a little bit danger here is that the that uh, bounce restrictor on that left has a very low cooldown now. So uh, if we don't kill it now, we're gonna suffer a good amount of damage. Probably seeing what's the best way I can hit the dam or power up wall and make sure that my first victim is that restrictor. Uh, I think I'm going to try to go under the block. Yeah. Yeah, that probably was the only way to get it with the uh, power up. So, good job past me. And now, now it's just a matter of can you basically do what Tsukuyomi did? Can you arc yourself around under the block such that you hit all the power up walls and then eventually uh, El Dorado there in the middle? And. Yes, this is a sign of things to come. If you take too long, uh, Eldorado will put up a barrier around him. And do keep in mind that the barrier will slow down pierce types immensely. So uh, make sure you find a way to hit those damage wall or power walls first, such that you can do sufficient damage to Eldorado once you get to him. And also, if you saw the that poison mist is pretty powerful too. So do make sure. Or bringing multiples of the same monster, probably not advised. All right, boss time. Now, here is an important thing to remember about the boss. If you take out the the uh, metal balls, note there's one on the bottom left and one that's on El Dorado on the top left. It's a little bit blended because it's uh, overlapping with him. But if you take them out, uh, El Dorado will go into rage mode, and that rage mode does not end even on the next stage so if you take out that mech ball too early you are basically screwed because you're not going to kill el dorado in four turns i think um i mean unless you get really lucky with the pathing here um but this is where you know murasaki shikibu is going to come and shine because the basically the mines are always going to be around the damage walls so Hopefully, such that you pick up a mine and the damage walls, and then you just, you know, obliterate the boss. But like I said, you have to be careful about the state of those mech balls. As you can see, the one on top of Eldorado is just a hit away from disappearing. And okay, luckily we hit Eldorado first. Thought we might have hit that ball first. Uh, Shikibu, we're gonna try and pick up everything here. Oof! Look at that. That was 7 million damage by Murasaki Shikibu. Uh, you know, that was 3 mines, 3 damage walls, elemental bonus, and look at that, we're already halfway done with this gauge. <laughs> And so yeah, I mean, with this low HP, you can think about just, you know, focusing damage on the boss. Again, it's a question of can you find a path to get to the boss without hitting other enemies? Uh, at this point, probably not. Um, but now there is clearly an opening on the top left side, so we're going to see if Walpurgis can do. Okay, that was not enough damage. <laughs> so let's double check the uh, death counters on those bounce obstructors 3 and 4. So uh, if we have the opportunity, we should take it to go against the boss. Alright, kill one. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. But at least Murasaki is set up with two uh, mines on her. So... That's a good setup. Tsukuyomi. Hmm. Well, I mean, we are on a decent pace here. If we can hit that top left wall, yeah, and then mine, mine. Yes, that is good enough to call it, which is good. Um, 
I think Walpurgis would have had a real hard time getting that bottom obstructor, so uh, I think we got super lucky there. All right, uh, final stage. Um, of course, Walpurgis has a two turn delay on her strike shot. Uh, yep. Gonna see if I can take advantage of the power up walls as well. Alright, cool. We got rid of one of the obstructors. Unfortunately, the other one that's left uh, didn't slow them, but I mean, this does give me two turns of peace. So, we're gonna see Murasaki Buu's strike shot. All three damage walls, and I think that was four mines in total, plus hitting Eldorado. That is super lucky, my friends. And Tsukuyomi picks up a mine, two walls, and yes, we were able to take out the last gauge in three turns. Normally, this last gauge is pretty tough, but everything went the right way for uh, Murasaki's strike shot there, so whew, that was super awesome. And... There you go. That is Eldorado, my friends. Whew. It's an interesting stage for sure. But definitely frustrating. If you look at the time, 3.02 a.m., that was the very last session of the day. So uh, I definitely tried a bunch of times to clear this. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.